No, you not you turn your volume. I was mimicking singing. All you saw was my lips moving because I do not know how to sing. But that's okay. I tried my hardest, it got you. But the good thing about this is that today is an important day. And significant days out there are important for each individual person. Today is February 17th. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four marks four years. Says last had a full time job. <laughs> now, for some people, man, well, you know, like I was talking to Karina this morning, I was like, oh, today's four years. And she says, well, why so insignificant for that date? Why it's so important? I don't remember dates like that. I says, look, you know, before I quit my full time job, I was facing a lot of emotional trauma. I wasn't sleeping well. I was going back and forth. I had so much fear. And fear, as we know, is stifling that when you want to just cross that small little inch, you can't do it because you're so afraid. So you just pedal back, pedal back. Before you know it, you go from an inch to two inches to a foot. You just don't do it at all. And a lot of us overcome with fear and not of the unknown, right? It's fear of the unknown or what I tell my clients is the invisible wall. But the question is, celebrate small wins. See, the idea is not what got me to today, four years later. The idea is what did I do, let's say a year and a half, that's, that's how long it took me, to quit my full-time job. I'll tell you what I did. I started marketing more on Google. I started marketing more on Facebook. I was creating more videos. I stopped having a trainer, and that was a big one because if I had my trainer, I wouldn't start developing my own craft, my own technique. I got hired at a facility while I had a full-time job. Just asked myself a couple of questions. Do I like training? Do I like connecting with people? Can I develop a routine? Do I like staying on my feet? Can I do this for long? I answered yes to all five questions. And I was there for 60 days at that job I quit. A month later after I quit, sorry, a week later after I quit, I got my first paying client as a personal trainer, not a coach. So that made all the difference is I did a lot of few things in a short amount of time. One that propelled me the most are my wake up call is when I found out a coworker of mine was making 14% more than me base salary. Now you may say, well, that's not too bad. No, 14% more than me with seven years less experience. Now that is huge. We're the same department. I broke, I, I purchased as a procurement manager, a supply chain manager, with the second to third biggest category in that department. And that person's making 14% more than me. It crushed me, but it propelled me. I had two choices. One choice was get pissed at my boss and confront him like, dude, what the heck? I'm not being paid enough. What you all be here said, because remember I didn't take a picture. I saw a piece of paper he left out. I looked at it. I did the math. Actually, I didn't have to do the math. It said right there, $80,000. That's how much it was. And he would say, well, it's not true. Well, this, he'll come all these excuses. Or take the same amount of energy and I said this to myself, I got to get the hell out of here. And I quit a year and a half later. Actually, hold on. Let me get the dates right. I saw it in June of 2016. I started my business October 2015. So June 2016 is when I saw it. February 17th. 2017 is when I walked out of that company forever. So I want you guys to go out there and celebrate the small wins because it's not what you won today, it's about what you did prior. You know, like I said in my last video, the success is in the plateau, it's about what you did before to get you where you are today. Celebrate their small wins, celebrate what you just going on in your life because celebration is because you have put forth the universal effort to get where you are today. So I know I didn't say before, but my name is Ron Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. If you're in a situation that's affecting your relationships, you're in transition, and you want something brand new, this is where I can help you, because I've been there. I've been there more than once, a lot of different occasions. Go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, boom, click on that discovery call button, book call with me personally, be it through Zoom or be it over the phone, whatever you feel most comfortable, and let's talk and have a conversation. Thanks again for listening.